I wish those who see Peter Obi as ethnic candidate can get to know him better. Northern Elders Forum. I spent valuable time with Mr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, this morning. I wish those who see him as an ethnic candidate can get to know him better. I also wish those who try to sell him will turn down his ethnic identity. I hope the nation will see the candidates up close. We could see a revolution. He has passion and energy. He also has massive problems with his primary constituency, which must unite behind him and show other Nigerians that he could be a good Nigeria, not Igbo president. He is fighting on too many fronts and some of his adversaries are secessionists. Dr. Akim Baba Ahmed, the Northern Elders Forum Secretary, said. Wow, well, I wish too. You see, Peter Obi is a national revolutionary movement championed by the Nigerian youth themselves to rescue Nigeria from total collapse, from powers of darkness and from the hands of the old kankawans and lookers who have eaten deep into the future and destinies of the Nigerian youth over the years. In fact, they completely emasculated the future of and destinies of the Nigerian youth. We are out for a great change that will shock the nation, just like the Ansars movement. This one is beyond tribe, is beyond religion, this is beyond party. For hungry, it's for poverty, unemployment, insecurity, etc. Knows no tribe, knows no gender, knows no religion or political party. It is about rescuing Nigeria, of course. Attack dogs will be unleashed with their various propaganda mechanisms. But they will fail woefully this time because we are more determined now than ever. For we are tired of these people. We are tired of political recycling. We need generational change. For to be obedient indeed is better than sacrifice. People who like suffering will use sentiment to sell and elect people, but anyone who wants a better life won't reason with sentiment. What is the benefit that your tribesmen are ruling, but you are suffering? Is that a kind of life? Your tribesmen are ruling. It's just, make it just be say, my person, they rule, and you they suffer. It does not make sense. Let's push those ones aside. This is what we can do together. You understand? If you are a Nigerian and you live in this country, you know what I'm talking about. We are going through a lot. The killings are becoming too much. The suffering is unbearable. How do we end this? If by at the end of the day, we still elect those people who do not know how to tackle this problem, who do not even know the knowledge of how they are going to go about the, the problems we have in this country. That means we still have another eight years of anguish. If we can push all these things aside, I wish people with see Peter Obi, the angle is coming from. Peter Obi is not coming because he's coming to be a president of Nigeria because Igbos have been glamouring for presidency. No, that is far from it. This is a man who wants to rescue the country. People should try to understand this. Make we forget about he not get structure. He not get structure. He not go win. You understand? People went dead there before then they dead and all that. What are you going to gain? 
Let's save the future of our generations. They are born. Let's save it. So many Nigerian youths today are into one thing or the other. Deadly activities. Kidnapping, yawi yawu, and all that. Because they are jobless. They have nothing to do. If we have companies, if we have refineries that is functioning well, you see that Nigerian youth will be engaged. Then who will be thinking about those things? No, because you are engaged. That is it. The poor governance gave back, gave back to all this yawi yawu and all that. It gave back to ag uh, agitations. Nigerians should come and understand this. Let's push tribe out from this. Let's put religion from this. Let's face the reality. I wish people will understand the angle is coming. I quote um, the uh, Dr. Akim Baba, the secretary to the Northern Edas Forum. I wish people will see Peter Obi. The angle is coming from not Igbo uh, president from Igbo extraction and all that. He said Peter Obi have primary problems. Of course, we have been seeing them. His kingsmen do not even want him. What did they call that one? Is that one? Is that one not wickedness? Your own people are against you because they feel that they will be trapped at the end of the day. It's not going to be business as usual. That's why they don't want Peter Obi. Telling people not to vote for Peter Obi. These, these are his own people. You understand? It's funny anyway. But God will save us from this very one. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.